Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts. How's it going, everybody? How's your day so far? Here's little Miss Mary Jane. Laying up there on her little sleep space. I don't even know what you call it. It's like a little tunnel scratcher something something. But there's the pretty Missy. Okay, everybody. You ready? Are you ready for this? There was Miss Mary Jane. I couldn't resist getting a little intro with her. She's never really wants to be taken a picture of. She's like, she's little Miss Henri. She always, the one that's running and hiding. Trapper, he'll sit there and take a picture. He don't care. So, how's everybody doing? I, I'm sure you guys can tell, didn't get my whip and chat done yesterday, which I was a little upset by. But, you know, I was having one of those days where I came home from work and I was pissed off to the world. I wanted to go out and fight everybody and yell at everything and just, oh, it, it, it was not a good day. It was not a good day. And, and then the day before that, I fell asleep, so I never had time to record and then I was also, in, like, uh, jeez. I wasn't in the right state of mind, like, to record. I have to be, clear everything out of my head and make sure everything's clear before I start recording a video. Otherwise, I'm just going to be, like, my brain's going to be going 100 miles a minute. Pretty much how it is right now. Anyways, that's normal. Um, so... I figured I'd do it today and talk about Treasure Studios art. Yep. Treasure Studios art. Who I am affiliated with. This is not a Treasure Studios art. This is a Crafty Mint. Which, eh, I'm, I'm on the, the if side about it. But Treasure Studios Art has came to me and all of us affiliates and has shown us a little bit of upcoming diamond painting, well not even really diamond painting, painting or uh, art creators, okay? Um, and that, that are going to start becoming into the Treasure Studios art and have licensed imagery for all of us, which is fantastic. I can't wait for that. And y'all thought you needed a DAC inhaler? <laughs> I, I seen this one painting and I was just like, I swear my jaw hit the floor. If you guys are a fan of, ah, get in there, like, mystical stuff, Ooh, I can't wait, like, I, like, oh, yeah, I don't even know what to say, I'm so shocked, the, the site I went to today to check out a couple things, and I was just like, I want that in the diamond painting. 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 Oh my lord. I just spent way too much money. You know? But his this guy's artwork is phenomenal. Both of them are. I was so... <laughs> like, mind boggled. So... Exciting news more than that is for the month of February, 
my affiliate will no longer be 15% off. It'll be 20. Yes, 20% off. There is no minimum order. Ah! Right? I was like, um, can I use that 20% off myself? Yes. So, get your orders while they are freaking hot. Um, we're hoping these people that are going to be doing the uh, new imagery is going to be released soon. Um, one of them is on hold a little bit due to some issues that I will talk about and I will touch base with you guys. And I also have been gotten asked a couple of times about how long it takes to get a Treasure Studios art. If you ordered it here, should it have got it already? So I will talk about that as well. Um, but yeah, just these these new guys are have blown my mind with some of the stuff I've seen. It was like, yeah, I, I was like, can I have that? 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 Oh, I can see myself getting in lots of trouble here soon. So, yeah, there's like lots of excitement coming. The month of February, if you want a diamond painting, get that 20% off. I hope that some of the new creators can be releasing their, their goods by then, but I'm not sure. I haven't been exactly told when the release date is going to be. But there is a couple of things that is going on and it does involve Treasure Studios art and most of that has to do with China. So I'm going to touch base here. If you guys don't know, Treasure Studios Arts uses a factory in China that makes her diamond paintings. And those factories are shut down right now. It is also the Chinese New Year has just... I pretty much just ended. It's like 20 days long or something like that. Um, so during the Chinese New Year, all the factories were shut down. They wanted their workers to stay home and enjoy their lives for a little while. Plus enjoy the all the festivals that they do take place over there. And there was... Uh, a couple other issues that did involve Treasure Studios art as well. Um, I can read one of them off because I took a, a screenshot of it. So, if you do order through Treasure Studios Art, um, your order will not be placed until the 15th because of what is going on in China. They're, the factories are all being held up until the 15th. Um, so, basically, the 15th, your order will get put in to the factory. It should be shipped out from the factory by the 25th 
and then it should take seven to ten days roughly to get to you. And then, um, where's it at? I lost it. I don't know where it went. The heck. Oh. So anything that is made in the factories in China right now, uh, the only thing that can be made right now is medical stuff to keep their people healthy basically that's the only thing that they're allowing to be made in trans uh actually to keep our people healthy wherever the drugs come from um that's the only thing that is allowed to come out of the factories right now and allowed to be shipped over the united states or wherever they're being shipped to so be patient and you should be seeing it uh i'd say so it shipped out 25th So you probably get it by the 5th or 6th of March, roughly. So be patient and take the opportunity now to get it at a cheaper price. You'll just have to wait a bit longer. So that's always nice, cheaper price. I will be getting some goodies from Treasure Studios Art soon, myself. And we'll see what I get. So yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure when they're releasing the stuff from the the newer peeps, the newer creators. But I'm sure you will see it when it is out. Uh, I try to post something on Instagram weekly um, talking about this is what's coming from Treasure Studio or hey, don't forget they have y'all. Yeah. Treasure Studios are diamond paintings, paint by numbers. They have pillowcases. They're not diamond painting pillowcases, but they're just like a nicer pillowcase. Um, art supplies. Let's see. They have custom diamond paintings that you can get round or square. We'll go through a little bit of what they got here. Ooh, that's cool. I did not see this. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Skater chick. This is one of Rachel's designs, I'm sure, because it is a signature design. Skater chick. Yeah, I like it. I like the colors. And that's what it's called, skate trick. So they have diamond paintings, custom designs, YouTube DP collabs, which will feature. Let me get rid of that. 
will feature, let's see, whatever collaborations that are going on at the time. Laura Law Craft Corner, she had a custom diamond painting made with Rachel, so she's in there. No, I don't. All right, now. Limited edition diamond paintings. Okay, let's go right there. Art supplies, home decor, paint by numbers. Art supplies. They got washi tapes. Coloring books, framings, coloring books, washi tapes, coloring books, markers, pencils, frames. More, more, more. Okay. And then... Home decor. Bathroom, toilet, cushion, wall art. What? Wall decals. Huh. Oh. It put it on your wall. Come on, phone. It's wall art. <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. But yeah, there is so much stuff. And then you have Nicole Payne art, which I love, 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 love Nicole Payne art. Come on, click it. Yes, there we go. Absolutely love her artwork, man. It's so beautiful. What? I didn't even see that. Holy cow, that's gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that is. Holy cow. I'll show you my favorite. Uh, there's a cow. I like this one. The Black Widow. Or Spider Bride. Where is my horsey? Horsey. That's how I used to call my son. Be like, son. He would come running. This is my favorite horsey. I have it hanging up in my closet right now. I'm so tempted to start this. It's gorgeous. Anyways, enough of all that. So much exciting stuff coming. You don't even know. Like, so much exciting. And then, uh, moving on from that, I don't know if you guys heard or not. I've kind of hinted a little bit about it. Um, there is a collaboration coming. I know Sister Addiction has already mentioned it, so I was like, eh, why not? I'll mention it. So, me and Sister Addiction are going to have a collaboration again. Yes! I can't wait. Um, I need to get that painting out from underneath my bed and uh, check it out. See if I need to coat it or uh, seal it, I mean. See how the issue is since it's been sitting underneath the bump bed between two pieces of cardboard. Because uh, if you guys remember, I'm talking about the squirrel painting that Trader Studios Art designed for us. Um, I got both of those images. 
I absolutely love both of them. I love the country one more, so that's the one I did. But I need to get that out and see how it looks. Because it's been sitting underneath my bed since I finished it. I've been putting it underneath there between two pieces of cardboard to let the bed smash it down before I seal it so it's got a good smash. Good. There's two spots on it that the drills wanted to keep popping from. And it's not horrible, but I'm going to have to make sure all the diamonds are pushed down and seal it. So if you're watching this, question for the day. What's a good sealant? I used to use... Well, I haven't used it yet. I've used it on my polymer clay pens, but Mod Podge. But some people have said, no, do not use Mod Podge. It dulls the coat. What do you guys use? Question. You'll just get a thumbs up. Yes, just a thumbs up. Uh, so, I have fully gone back to pink wax. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's cold. And I'm... I don't know. I don't mind the patty wax in the, uh, single placer. But I can't stand it in the multi-placer. Brand spank a new multi-placer and it just like pulls out of the multi-placer in clumps and it it's driving me crazy. Can't handle it. I went back to pink wax. I do have another wax coming. Um, she is one of my subscriber plus I'm sure she's one of many subscribers to p us creators. She has an Etsy shop, and I'll be getting a package from her soon with some new wax and a couple cover minders. Maybe a new shop for you guys to go check out. Um, so there's that, plus there, there's like three orders from an Etsy, three different Etsy shops coming. Um, once again, Shine Shop Designs hit me. Hit me in the feelers. No, I'm joking. I, I love Shine Shop. She's got awesome, awesome cover minders. The quality is there, so, yeah. And then she also kind of influenced another buy from one of her friends that owns an Etsy shop, so, yeah. I'm a sucker, especially around payday. But it was good because it was YouTube payday. So, yay. Um, I also have a package that says it was delivered today. But unless my dad's hoarding it over there. Over there. Um, Father, are you hoarding my package? Watch, he'll bring it over to me in the morning. And I'm like, ah. I wanted to, to get my video recorded so I can get it. Uploaded to YouTube so it can come out nice and early in the morning. But no. He brings me my mail late. But, oh well. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. So, Saturday, back to my normal live stream. Um, Friday, you guys will probably get that package I got. Which is from a, a new diamond painting company that I, I found al along the YouTube land of, you know, us creators sharing with each other. So, yeah. It's gonna be fun, 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 fun. It's so cute. I can't wait. I seen it and I was just like, yep, gotta have it. Goes right with my rooster. Right with my rooster. Uh I'm I'm just glad I'm back to my own self. When things 
go south, I get very pissy, very grumpy, and just, I'm just a blatant, yeah, I'm just an, a jerk, I'm a jerk to myself, um, after I watched my Native American beating video, I was like, yep, delete it, 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 stay up there, yeah, perfect, uh, but I, I left it up because by the time I got time to sit down and watch it for a second, I was just like, oh god, just, just delete it now and quit the suffering. But, like I've told you guys before, I'm, I'm my own worst critic when it comes to things. I, I go watch a video two times, and if I don't like it, I, I delete it. Nobody will get to see it. I'll start over. And that's, that's my biggest issue. Because especially if I'm recording an hour-long whipping chat, and I get done, done with it, and I watch a little bit of it, and I'm just like, nope. Like earlier, I had 45 minutes in. I said something I shouldn't have said. And I was like, oh god, I guess I could stop it and delete that out. And I was like, no, let's just start all over again. Yeah, this is, this is, this is not have fun tonight. But no, it, it, it's better. I'm better. And my, my head is, is I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's supposed to be 74 degrees this weekend. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I'm sorry. I've been in such a singing mood lately. Well, like since earlier today. Um, today was horrible at work. Horrible. Uh, I got yelled at because I was looking for tools to tear apart the press. My boss was looking for something else. He goes, where's the Allens? I said, I don't know. We'll find them. And then I had the tool in my hand and I got pissed off and I threw it across the workbench and slammed into the, the, the wall in the press room and threw shit all over the place, kicked the door open and said, F you. Yeah. I get very violent when it comes to working on that newspaper press. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It used to be fun. It used to be a passion. I loved to come in and work and print on that press. But lately, since we're not keeping it, we're getting rid of it because we don't have enough newspapers to print anymore. Because everybody's in our area is pretty much going to an emailed newspaper. So it kind of makes the newspaper press obsolete for us. We're not going to pay for film and plates and... Rollers and blankets and bearings and bushings and everything that's involved in a press, you know, it's it's very very expensive One roll of film is like What used to be a hundred dollars is now like four hundred dollars It it's not it's not cheap anymore. So I mean we have to up our bills to keep Paying for things, but then the customers are going away because the cost is going up, but we can't help it. So, whenever we do move out of this building, that newspaper press will be going bye-bye. And I'm going to get up on the floor and I'm going to dance my tushy off that day. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. Like, after we got the press fixed, I, I, yeah, we, me and my boss were, ugh, elbow deep into black ink, just nasty. Um, 
it come to find out there's this this arm on the press that makes the uh think Jeremy the ink ball so there's the ink ball that's about four inches around and then there's a gully where the ink sits so as the ink ball turns around this arm activates so it's like this big and then the ink sits over here up against the ball and then there's a uh, actuator that goes back and forth and as it goes back and forth it turns the ball so it adds more ink on each time well the spring came loose on it so it wasn't kicking the the actuator back to make it pick up more ink Ugh. I've been fighting with this issue for months and could not figure out what the heck was the issue well come find out there there's there was a couple issues but that was the main one that fixed it so today finally after like six months of messing with that finally fix it but as you can see with my hands that's after I took a shower yeah so finally got that thing fixed and it's like I was fighting with this thing for like six months my boss comes back and we both tear into it and then like a half an hour 40 minutes later we we have it fixed that's why that when we run this operation it's just me and my boss because we can work together and get the job done faster with the two of us than we can by ourselves. Or not by ourselves, but with a crew of people. Because back in the day, when I first started working at this print shop 20 years ago, there was like 25 people that worked there. And then over the years, it's just kind of slowly, slowly petered down to where we don't need that whole crew of people because I can do everything in the shop. Like, I would be in the back press room with my cousin printing the press and we would finish that job and he'd be like, hey, why don't you go do film and plates? And, and then when you're done with that, go do some inserting. And then when you're done with inserting, go take your lunch. And, you know, I could do all of it. And people that were inserting used to get pissed off because I would come over and I'd start inserting. And they're like, no, you're not going to insert. And I said, why? I was told to. No, you're too fast. Too fast compared to us. You make us look slow. And then we get told to hurry up. I said, well, it's not my problem. That's how I look at life. It's, it's not my problem. We ain't friends. Why do you think we're friends? <clears throat> some of y'all my friends. But some of you ain't. Some of you ain't. Um... So, let's see. What else was I going to share with you guys? Oh! You know, you remember in my Native American beading video, and I said I, would, I bought some new beads, and I would show you guys the colors? After I watched that video back, I was like, I never showed them the new colors I got. So... Might as well show you the colors.
I don't have anything, big dog. So these are the new colors. Not black. Orange, turquoise, and then these are the colors that I already have, which is a navy blue, dark blue, brick red, white. Another turquoise, because, you know, gotta have turquoise. My favorite color. And then two just bright reds, because that's a prop. Uh, the yellow. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I actually have twelve, but the first yellow I bought. I bought all the colors as, as an 8 aught, but the first yellow I bought, I bought as a 6, so it's twice the size. So, yeah, I screwed that one up. So I got a good amount of colors. I haven't used a whole lot because, I mean, let's see. I made this, like I showed you guys. And there's not a lot of beads there. Let's see. Forty-one. Didn't know that. Just with the pattern, counted that. So, I don't seem right. Does it seem like there's 200 beads there to you guys? Know, there might be. Wow. Oh. Ah, oh, I suck at math anyway. So who who doesn't who does it who takes who knows about that? And then I found a big fat roll of the nylon uh, wax string because all I had before was this guy. And you can see the difference in size. I already went through one of these guys in the first like three, yeah, three looms I did. And then they were super nice and sent me this free gift, which is freaking beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh. I guess because I've spent so much with them. Um, like, beautiful. So I have 12... That's like $90 worth of beads that I have so far. I got a good assortment. It should last me a while. But I'm definitely going to need to be stocking up with some more. So, let's see. Anything else we need to talk to you guys about? I thought he was coming over to me, but he took off running out. 
I guess that's really it. I don't know, I really can't think of anything else. I was just... I wasn't even going to do a whipping chat today. I was just like, yeah, I'll just do one next week since I missed. But then I got notified by Rachel that there was some stuff going down. And I was like, yeah, I got to tell you guys. So I posted it to my Facebook group. I posted it to my Instagrams. I'm going to post it to YouTubes. I'm hoping they get this done. In the next couple of days, which I doubt it's going to be the next couple of days, because over the dp thon those uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all I did was colored. I haven't touched this, so, yeah. I, I should have been diamond painting instead of coloring, because I want to get this painting done. I've been working on it for what seems like forever, and I'm tired of it. I'm actually probably going to hang it up in the closet and work on a different one because I have like <sighs> four of them hanging in the closet that I need to finish. One of them's going to stay in there for a little while and the other one's going to stay in there until I decide I want to work on that Victoria's Moon, which I really don't want to. Um... The collab witch house painting is going to come back into around Halloween. I'll start that again because I never finished it. I had too much on my plate when I'm trying to do diamond painting, Native American beading, coloring, plus work and live my own life. Um, this weekend, I... I will be out in the shop. I'm so excited. I gotta get some stuff cleared out of the way around my truck because all the work going on in the shop. My dad's kind of used my truck as a shelf for a few days. And I said, hey, I'm getting ready to take my welder over there and weld that truck up. So you better get all that... Uh, yeah, that installation out of the back of my truck, or my truck's gonna go up like a matchstick, buddy. But, I will be live Saturday. Saturday, me and Trapper will be out in the garage, or the sh what we call it, the shop. And, getting all that taken care of, and ready. Can't wait. I've been holding off on trying to work on my truck because of everything going on in the shop. It's, the shop is a disaster zone. But now the shop is almost done with its re-electrical work. I am ready to get some work done. I have a brand new welder that just sits... In my laundry room. Yeah, that's right. It's in my laundry room. Because I don't trust some people. Because I have friends that come over here while I'm gone. And I don't want them touching my stuff. So I lock it up in my house. get that bad boy into use. I'm so excited. Well, I guess that's about it all I got to say. I got a busy week ahead. Um, my boss is leaving on vacation. Man, I can't wait to move into that new shop because... I'm going to take a vacation. There ain't no reason why my boss can't work a week without me. I'm going to take a vacation in the middle of winter. 
for now on. Middle of winter, middle of summer, it'll be paid. I don't care. I don't care. He takes them all the time. He's going to Hawaii for a week. Um, I never get a vacation besides when I take off for deer season. Yeah. I need a vacation. I need a break. I almost had a break today because I almost got fired. That would have been a nice break. But I would have went back and talked to him and said, how? I need my job back. You know, we're, we're two peas in the pot and we get along really good, but my temper just gets the best of me. Which it does. When I'm at work, my temper just, just, just like flies off the handle. It's like F this, F that, blah, 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 blah. Throw stuff. Yeah, uh, and and in real life, I'm not like that. That my temper is real long, but I'm just. I guess that's just how done I am with with everything. We were supposed to quit printing newspapers in just the end of the year, but it don't look like that's gonna happen. It looks like we're gonna push the papers out until. We move, and uh, that might be the death of me. Me and my boss are, we're jokesters with each other, right? So, I was helping him bring some mailing supplies in, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done. This is all garbage. I'm done. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm getting pissed. And he's just like laughing. And he's like, you know what you need to do? And I said, what? And he says, you need to become a whiskey drinker and forget about it. <laughs> no, I don't. Because you don't want me drinking whiskey. He's like, no, it'll just be at night while you're at home. And I said, yeah, I know. But I'll probably come in to work the next day pissed off at the world and ready to strangle you me and hard alcohol are not a mixture for each other every once in a while i'll take a shot but nope not for me that's why i quit drinking when i was younger i had one night where i drank every alcohol that we had in the house which was Yukon Jack, it was Fireball, it was Hot Damn, it was... I can't even tell you how much beer and booze was in the house that night. I was drinking it all. The next morning, I went to go get up to use the restroom because I had to throw up. And there was my brother's girlfriend... And her best friend both huddled in the toilet. And I was like, oh god. And I ran outside and I throwing up in the middle of the street. Yeah, that was my last time I ever drank. Besides taking a shot here and there. Eh, uh, nope. Ain't doing it no more. Can't do it. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, alcohol don't mix. Besides, every once in a while, if I can't sleep, I'll take a shot. Nighty night. But, anyways, I'm going to go get this video put onto my laptop and get some record. Or, uh, yeah, I'm so flustered. Editing done. So I can get this up to you guys in the morning sometime, hopefully reasonable. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you're new here, welcome to the JTMJ family. If you're returning, thank you so much. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And remember, you gotta have your love.
and peace and treat each other like you would like to be treated and I hope you have a fantastic day.